Virgil van Dyke reveals he encountered difficulties with trust and found himself in a state of shock. Virgil van Dyke acknowledges that he was taken aback during a challenging period for him and Liverpool in the previous season. The Dutch defender faced a demanding campaign for the Reds, marking his second full season after suffering an anterior cruciate knee ligament injury against Everton in late 2020. Despite a late surge, Liverpool managed to secure a spot in the Europa League qualification places in May, finishing 22 points adrift of the top. Van Dijk, both individually and with the team, fell short of expectations and he struggled mentally with the team's difficulties. Additionally, he admitted to not having complete confidence in his knee. The 32-year-old shared, When things didn't go well last season, both individually and as a team, I was genuinely shocked for a while. I had never experienced this before. Simultaneously, I kept telling myself, this is temporary. However, I had to adapt to the new knee, especially with bending, stretching and flexion. In the knee joint, everything is interconnected. If you can't stretch your knee well, you can't bend it, and consequently, you can't sprint effectively. This is what makes it so challenging. A significant knee injury is not only physically demanding but also mentally. The issue is that it's not an injury that disappears overnight. Even if all the tests indicate that you are match fit, it also involves the feeling, the confidence. Even after playing for a while, after matches, you cannot escape the thought if only there is no reaction now. That took quite a while. Van Dijk has featured in 17 out of Liverpool's 19 Premier League matches this season and Klopp's team is currently in a familiar position at the top of the table. The Dutch star found some positives from his injury layoff, but is pleased to have overcome that challenging period. Speaking to Dutch newspaper AD, he stated, Ideally, you wouldn't want to go through it. However, looking back, I can say that this period also brought me quite a lot. No one experiences only highlights in their career. Setbacks shape your personality, and you learn from them, as there will always be challenging phases in life. Not everything was negative during that time. During my rehabilitation, I spent seven weeks in Dubai with the whole family. Together in peace and quiet, it was the best time of our lives. But intense and negative criticism can be detrimental to an athlete. The key is to handle it well, and I am quite happy with how that has gone, especially in the last few months. Following Jordan Henderson's departure in the summer, Van Dyke was named captain. He has embraced the role and enjoys everything that comes with wearing the armband. He explained, Getting the captaincy felt like a token of appreciation and confidence. When it comes to leadership, I honestly value most how my manager, coaches or fellow players perceive me. In my opinion, they are the best judges. I really enjoy the captaincy role. I like helping the young players, examining the broader perspective of the club and being actively involved. The other day, I attended a youth tournament of Liverpool's under-9s and under-10s. The under-18s often train just before us, so I try to be at the training ground early. I am not only the captain of the team, but of the entire club.